Six decades ago, an artist by the name of Kim Byung-gi established himself as one of the forefathers of Korean contemporary art. Our Im Yoon Yi joins us today to tell us more about the artist. Welcome back, Yoon Yi. So what's so great about the artist, Kim Byung-gi? Right, so he is an artist who's actually just a couple years shy of being a centenarian. Uh, but over his lifetime, he's contributed so much to Korea's contemporary art. Now there's an exhibition in honor of him and his work, so take a look. At almost 100 years old, painter Kim Pyeonggi is one of the oldest painters in Korea. Yet he still burns with passion for his work. From now on and for the rest of my life, I will be closer to the audience, at least for whatever life I have left. The exhibition at the Kwachun branch of the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art looks back at the past 60 years of the artist. Their works that define Kim as an artist, famous for balancing contrasting ideas. My work contains both the East and the West. It's shapeless, but defined. One hundred of Kim's works take the audience through decades of his life as an artist and also as a major force of movement in Korean contemporary art. Many artists uh, studied abroad, especially at right. that time. So tell us more about his relationship with the global community. What stands out? Mm -hmm. So actually, in the early 60s, uh, Kim was actually served as the Korean commissioner for the Sao Paulo Biennale um, in Brazil. And from there, he moved to the U.S., where he continued to get inspiration, he says, for the next few decades. Uh, but that's really where he picked up, I think, his Western influence and style. So he really has this, he's known for mixing the East and the West. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, while he was in the States, he actually sent a lot of his works back to Korea uh, so that he still maintained his influence over here in the country. Mm -hmm. So what allowed him to become, to have such an influence in the Korean contemporary art community mm -hmm. then? So he's a really interesting artist. He actually uh, works by adding layers and really sticks to very interesting lines and shapes. Um, and so because of that, he at that time was considered on the pioneering edge, something very new that people hadn't seen before. And so I think that really contributed to him getting his name out there, making a name for himself. And people really did respect him for his work. And the, he you find so much inspiration and beauty, and you could really see inspiration in the uh, beauty of nature. And mm -hmm. you could really see that in his work. Right, and we can see his passion. I mean, at the age mm -hmm. of 98, he's still out there. Oh, yeah, and yeah. he's still going strong. All right, thank you very much, Uni, for today's report. Always a pleasure.